ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Kim, and you're on my channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the short bow and the arrows for the short bow in Tinker's Construct. A lot of people ask me about the uh, Hexit arrows and how they're different, and there's a couple different kinds and like sets of arrows and bows and hex. I don't know if you guys know that. Like, there's so this is just going to be the Tinker's Construct bow and arrows, but there are other kinds, and I will do uh, something for those too. But I'll, I'll start here. So first of all, for Tinker's Construct, you're going to need, for the, especially for the bow and arrows, you're going to need an advanced tool forge, which is not a tool station. And then uh, and I can link things that will help you build these if you need that. Um, but you need the tool forge. Oh, sorry. The tool forge so you can get to the short bow and the arrows. You're going to need a smeltery, probably, not, not necessarily, and uh, some stencils. So first things first, go ahead over to your tool forge. Click on the short bow and you see that you need two tool rods and then a bowstring. A lot of people don't know how to find the bowstring. The bowstring is using the stencil table. You just put your blank pattern into the stencil table and you click on next pattern until you find yourself the bowstring. There it is. So there you go. You just pick that out and then you have it. Uh, you're also going to need some tool rods which can be used during, uh, but could be get gotten during by either, sorry, I can't speak right now, going to the stencil table and getting the tool rod pattern, which will allow you to create uh, craft ones with like a, um, what do I have here, like a bone tool rod. Or you go to the smeltery and you smelt up some, I have iron in here, but you can smelt up a uh, cobalt or uh, luminite, and then you put your tool rod cast, down and you can get one uh, a cooled one just like that so there you go got myself an iron tool rod from that and again if you don't know how to make these casts if you're not sure how to make uh, how to use the stencil table stuff like that I have other videos on my channel go ahead and look for them I'll try to remember to post them down below anyway and uh, you can navigate through those guys if you need help then you come back over here and uh, you have your tool rods available I'm going to show you some of the different kind of bows and then your bowstring. So, um, let's see here. Let's start with a, let's make an obsidian. That's what this is, right? Obsidian bow. Right there. Reinforced three. And, and let's make another bow too while we're here. Let's make a cobalt bow. Why the heck not? This one's got reinforced two. All of them have different properties based upon what you use for them. All these properties could probably be found on the Hexit Wiki. A lot of information on the Hexit Wiki. So if you're ever unsure about anything like that, uh, Hexit Wiki is the way to go. So there you go. Got myself some bows, some different kind of short bows. They draw back the same way. I don't have any arrows on me. <laughs> but you make arrows through here too. I don't have any fletchling or arrowheads. I forgot to make those. Hold on. Fletching... Fletch. There you go. You get a whole bunch of different fletching. Leaf, slime. What's that one? A different colored slime. Ghost wood. Feather fletching. There's just a whole bunch of different things. So let's get some leaf fletching. Why not? Let's get a slime fletching. Oh, come on. Why Why you no work? I think I, I have to be in uh, options. Nope, no, 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 no. No, that's not it. Why can't I learn cheat mode? Go into cheat mode, guys. Alrighty. Get some of those. Get some slime and get some feather ones. Alrighty. And then I need arrowheads, too. Which also can be made out of a whole bunch of different things. Arrowheads. Look at all these. Bronze, aluminite, steel. And all of these have different properties. Different, uh, I should say different strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that, so... Grab some of these, we'll grab some steel, and then we'll grab some regular iron ones. Alrighty. So you go over here to your arrow section, and now you can make all your arrows that you'd like. Let's have an aluminite uh, tool rod for the middle. Let's have leaf fletching and some ardenite. So now this is totally different than it, it gives you the weight, accuracy, the base attack, short bow attack, 
and then if you change this out with certain ones, you'll see it changes weight, changes the accuracy. Did it actually change the weight? I don't know if it did or didn't. Let's try a lighter one. Yep, changed the weight. <laughs> so you can see here that it, it does kind of give you an idea of all the different uh, the different accuracies. Let's see what this does to the accuracy. 96% much more accurate than the, the leaf fletching. So, and then you can go ahead and make a whole bunch of them. If you uh, shift click, it won't stack them, unfortunately. So, you just have to stack them individually, which is an absolute pain in the butt. You'd be right if you were to say that. They make four for every for every one, so it's uh, it's pretty cost efficient. I'd say it's pretty cost efficient. So I got uh, over 64, and it cost me I don't even know like 12. So it's not too bad. Let's make some more. Let's make some cobalt ones with a iron head and slime fletching. Much higher weight and lower base attacks too. So I'm just gonna make a couple of these. Ah. There you go. My inventory is very quickly filling up. <laughs> so we got these two. What else? Let's make one more cut type. Let's use the uh, the bone ones with steel arrowheads and regular fletching. Alrighty. So now we have all our different kind of bows, all our different kind of arrows. That one was an Ardenite arrow right there. I think it'll go right off the, uh, it'll go in your inventory, it'll go through them just like that. So all your different bows, all your different arrows, but you don't stop here. You don't have to stop here. What you can do is you can go back into here and uh, underneath the this one right here, which is the repair and modification tab. You can now modify your bow. So let's put in our uh, short bow. I can't remember which one this one was. That was the uh, cobalt one. And, um, oop, hold on. I need to grab some of the stuff I left in here. So we're going to put in the cobalt bow. And we're going to give it redstone, which will give you increased, uh, a slower drawback time. And you can put up to 50 redstone in there. So now I put, let's put, 20. So now there's 20 haste in here. You can stack them. I think you can stack them. I think you have to do it one at a time though. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Oh, bummer. I thought you could. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. You just put it back in there and just do it again. 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 I knew you could. Again. <laughs> again. Again. Kind of time consuming. But uh, so now it has 10 uh, levels of haste on it out of, out of 50. So you can also put other things on it. You can put nether quartz on it, which will give it a, a sharpness effect. It'll increase the damage. But it's not uh, the, the quartz isn't really as useful on the bow as it is on the arrows. And I don't think you, you cannot. I know for a fact, in fact, that you cannot put. Oh, you can put lava crystals on there. Give it auto smell is what this one says. I think lava crystals. I may have meant to get a blaze blaze powder. I think is what I meant to get. But there you go. So that's how you uh, that's how you change up your bows. You can use a whole bunch of other uh, different things to it. You can use a uh, moss, which I thought I had as well. Let's see if I have moss. A ball of moss. If I had it, it'd be in here. I don't. Okay, hold on. I'm really unorganized for this one, guys. Ball of moss. So let's get some of those. This, you only need one of them. But you put your bow in, and it'll give you auto repair, which is really cool. Which means that whenever you use it, it'll actually automatically repair itself over time. So let's give this guy some, uh, oops. can't put two at a time I don't think alrighty a couple more just so we can see the difference alrighty so this one right now has only one 
haste on it, I think. I think it only has one. Oh, it has ten haste. And this one does two, I think. That's right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to improve our arrows. We're going to put those in there. Can we put these guys in there? Lava. We can have lava-tipped arrows. Can we put these guys on the bottom? No. Okay. So 16 lava-tipped arrows. 16 lava tipped arrows. We'll leave these guys playing just for uh, just for giggles. Now we're going to make these guys sharper. I'm putting the quartz up here, the nether quartz goes up to 72. So just imagine, you could have them doing an extra 5 damage, if not more. I've heard of these bows hitting up to 30, 40s, if you uh, have the arrows fully upgraded. And nether quartz is really cheap and really easy to come by. So, they have 15 now. Let's give this guy just five for comparison comparisons purposes. Oh, I think that might be six. Anyway, alrighty. So there we go. Let's get it all evened out, and I'm gonna kill some uh, zombies and creepers and skeletons for you guys now. So where's our other arrows? There you go. Alrighty. First, a quick accuracy test. That is pretty darn fast. The only issue is that uh, occasionally it'll do that where it'll go down. This one is going to draw back a little bit slower. I think that's one that we had less uh, on. You saw that it kind of like hiccup there. If you hold it too long, sometimes it'll like fall back in. I wonder if these are just really bad arrows or really bad bow. Well, look how fast the bow declines. So like what you make totally changes what your bow can do. There you go. Wow, look how fast that went. Holy cow. Boom. Okay. The short bow. This one. The I think this was a cobalt. So they're actually pretty accurate if you wait long enough. But like you can see how their drawback time is actually longer than a regular uh, vanilla bow. And this is with a whole bunch of haste on it. But you can make it faster. You can make it so fast that it, it's like rapid fire. So there you go. That's that. This bow evidently... Which one was this one? I don't remember if that was... Uh, I don't remember which one that one was, but it stinks. That was the uh, obsidian one. So, let's spawn some uh, some zombies. Let's go. One, two, three. You gotta back up a little bit. Want a full one. There you go. Twelve. Seven. Not nearly a full one. Run over here to the other side. They picked up my arrows. <laughs> 13 on that one. So like that one did that bow did pretty decently. Still on another couple. Which one was that one? I think that one was uh my that one. So we'll use this one now. Seems to draw back a little bit faster. Let's get a nice full one on this one. It does three with the guy in the armor. And you can see that the lava portion of the arrow set him on fire. We saw it doing again around the 13 mark for the other. And now we'll just we'll just try to get a we'll see if we can't get two kills with um this bow. One damage. One damage. One damage. Two damage. Not very not a very good bow as you guys can tell. In fact, it's nearly going to break. Ready? Here he goes, here he goes, it's gonna break. Oh, this one maybe. There you go. Back to the good bows. So, definitely, uh, the different bows give you different kind of. Oh, these are creepers. I don't want those yet. I want skeletrons. I might actually die, guys. I didn't at all think. There you go, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna be fine. So these guys are really pretty strong bows. They're accurate. Um, I think that they do the job pretty decently well, honestly. So there you go. Some big damages there. 
Alrighty, creepers are... Oh wait, I have one more Skeletron, so... Let's get this guy going. Eight... Oops, I dropped my bow. <laughs> no, no, don't kill me. Four on that one, it wasn't a full charge. Five on that one, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alrighty, we got some creepers now, let's go. Definitely would highly, uh, highly recommend the bow. I think they're incredibly strong in, uh, if you use Tinker's Construct, 13 damage. Like, seriously, you can one-shit things with it. One shit. Oh my gosh, I just said that. One-shot things with this. So, and this isn't even fully upgraded. So 14 damage on that one. Six. If you don't fully draw back, it really seems to hamper the power of the bows. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first set of bows for Hexit. There are other kind of bows and I will show you them all uh, in due time, in due time. But that's the Tinker's Construct Bow. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for joining me. I have to clean up this mess now in here. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Peace.